This kills more businesses than anything else. That's the topic today. I'll tell you a quick story. A couple of years ago, I met with a gentleman from a local business. He's in an industry that has a combination of things that make it difficult because he has high costs and low margins generally. It's, it's, it's a competitive industry. So we looked over his financial statements. We saw he was losing money and we talked. We met at his banker's office and he looked at us and said, you know, I probably need to close that location. And the banker and I both looked at him and said, yeah, you probably do. And here we sit two years later, and he hasn't closed it. Not making decisions is what kills businesses. It's not bad decisions. It's the inertia, the fear, and just the waiting and hoping that kills businesses. That's what I see again and again. And it breaks my heart. It truly does. I'm not upset because he didn't hire me. I'm upset because he didn't follow through. And I feel bad because he knows what to do and he didn't do it. I want to read you something from a book. And um, it's a great book. It's, it's Tony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. And I read it some time ago and I thought, you know, some of this that is going on with some of my clients where they're hesitating to make decisions. I would read this and, I, and what is this about? So I want to read this to you. If making decisions is so simple and powerful, then why don't more people follow Nike's advice and just do it? I think one of the simplest reasons is, is that most of us don't recognize what it even means to make a real decision. We don't realize the force of change that a congruent, committed decision creates. Part of the problem is that for so long most of us have used the term decision so loosely that it's come to describe something like a wish list. And he's got this in bold. Making a true decision means committing to achieving, committing to achieving a result and then cutting yourself off from any other possibility. The challenge for most of us, we haven't made a decision in so long we've forgotten what it feels like. We've got flabby decision-making muscles. And this is the key here. So how do we strengthen these muscles? Give them a workout. The way to make better decisions is to make more of them. You've got to exercise those decision muscles. So whether you're a business owner watching this or you're an advisor to those businesses, you have to make more of them. And forget about making mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. But again, the problem I see is that people wait until it's too late. And then they fail and the business goes away. It goes bankrupt. It, it Whatever. It, it just goes down in flames. If you make those decisions, make them quickly. Make them again and again. You'll get used to it. You'll feel comfortable with it and you can turn it around. The biggest advantage most small businesses have is their ability to be nimble. It's not going to be financial deep pockets. It's probably not going to be the marketing and advertising budget. It's probably not going to be the depth of your bench and your team, unfortunately. That's not to say those things. You shouldn't do the best you can with them. The thing that you have going for you that even the biggest companies do not have is your ability to move that business. Turn that rudder quick. Whereas those big businesses that you are competing with oftentimes, they are steering large ships. So use that to your advantage. That is your biggest advantage. Use it. Get used to making decisions. Practice it. Get comfortable with it. And you won't end up like the businesses that, that wait too long because they haven't gotten used to making those decisions. This is Josh Horn, CPA of Horn Valuation. Have a great day. Bye.